Previously on Sally Cat Plays Exile 2 Crystal Souls. Take a rest, take a save, take a plunge into the cave. Now entering Serpent Cult. <laughs> I was expecting that to be harder? No! And so I decided to reload. Darn it, I'm going to have to kill that high priest again. And also various snakes. You know what? Rather than jump right back into battle now, I'm going to step outside, take a rest, and see if I've picked up any useful loot. Back in a bit. Okay, trying this again, somewhat refreshed. Mostly a no on the useful loot, by the way, although we did get a few bronze arrows. Okay, so that's one room full of sliths cleared out. Yes, in case you hadn't guessed by now, I can't actually get into the main fortress from this level without doing something to open the gates. I think that the gates cannot be opened from outside the fortress. So we have to find some other way to get in. So we effectively have two choices. Go down one slippery tunnel, or go down the other slippery tunnel. Which one is best? I don't remember. But what I will do is go out for one more rest before dealing with them. Because I would I really want to come in here with full spell points. Oh yes, hi. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay. Entry guard slaughtered. Goodies collected. Let's give ourselves less chance of being surrounded and go down into the corner hole. You try to climb back up the pit, but the wall is too sheer and too slippery. You stare out over a foul, reeking cavern, filled with huge, agitated serpents and the bones of their victims. Dominating the cavern, flanked on either side by giant bonfires, is a giant black altar, covered with tiny snakes. The cavern is filled with the constant, sibilant sound of the serpents hissing, but there's something more. The altar itself is humming, filling the air with nerve-jarring vibrations and driving the serpents into a frenzy. That is a lot of venomous serpents. I've blessed all of you. Why am I hitting so badly? Delicious snake meat. You stand before the altar. It's a full five feet high and twice as wide, covered with carvings of snakes, placed in order to help living snakes climb and writhe around it. Now that you're close, the humming from the altar is nearly agonizing. Your teeth ache from it. If I had a few more spell points available, I might try casting the uh, Ritual of Sanctification on it. door is locked. But not for long. Hi, you're a human. You find a half-starved man imprisoned in this cell. He's been beaten. His face lights up when he sees you. He stands up confidently. He's surprisingly active considering what he's gone through. Well met indeed. I am Captain Brehan of the Exile Army waiting to die up till now. My patrol was ambushed by the Sliths. He wearily shakes his head. Eight good, strong lads and lasses. I'm the only one left, damn them. All of them dead before that altar. He looks disturbed. The altar just outside. You can't imagine what it's like to sleep near that evil thing. It hisses all the time can't escape it. And it affects the snakes. They go wild when they're near it. Makes them fast and vicious. They'll tear you apart. He shivers as he thinks of what happened to his comrades. They have this bizarre cult here, as I'm sure you've seen. They feed us to the snakes, then try to talk to them. I was scheduled to be eaten soon, but I'm still planning to escape. He shows you a sword he had hidden behind his pallet. This is my secret. I found it here. 
We weren't the last troopers to be caught by those damned lizards. Somehow, one of them snuck a blade in here. It's a short sword, pitted and slightly bent, but still deadly. With you clearing the way, I should be able to escape. Yeah, I was going to say, one short sword is pretty good, but not a whole lot in the face of everybody in this fort. I'll follow you out. I have a sword. Sword first or feet first. I'm getting out of this place. Good attitude. Hi, more snakes. Don't you run away from me. Well, at least the second... At least the lower level here seems to be much smaller than the first level. Hmm. I believe we found an exit. What a sight for sore eyes! It's a stairway, leading up out of this grim pit. We'll come back here. And here is the end of the other tunnel into it. That is a high rate of spawning snakes. Of course, we must check all the corners. This is a hidden robing chamber. The walls are covered with runes and frescoes of snakes doing highly unpleasant things. Robes with leather armor graphics. Interesting. I could try doing a long wait to regain some spell points, but I'm afraid that would leave me surrounded by snakes. Though they're not actively spawning right now. You are at the entrance to a small, grim temple, a much smaller cousin to the grim monstrosity below. The air is heavy with the smell of foul incense and lizard. Hi.
What the? Guardian? Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, that's a high priest, and he's armored a guardian. This calls for more fireball. get at least one person out of that targetable space. <coughs> Once again, I fell the Slith High Priest. Mwahahaha. <coughs> and Guardians are able to breathe fire. Anybody left over here? Door locked. Ooh, necklace. Well, that fight went not too badly, really. Portcullis slides open before you. Huzzah! Hello, lowly grunts. I'm here to end your whole careers. that this room has remained cleared out. Not too many respawns. Ooh, treasure. Yeah, at least with the leather helm I don't have to pay to identify it.
I can sell those. Ooh. A scroll! Hooray! And a slith priest! Oh no! spell. Oh, I should have cured disease, not cure poison. Oops. Sorry, Simmerine. And we must inspect the bookshelves. Nothing. A little food. And again, I didn't actually have to do anything. The portcullis is just open from the correct side. Hmm. You would swear some of those tiles on the floor look loose. But that's not a problem for me. Even that's not a big problem. this. There is a thin, leather-bound book on this pedestal. The book is a learned tome written in human tongue, probably stolen, on magical items. Reading it, your item lore skill increases. Cool beans. Just storage and uh, barrier. This better be a good spear. The last one was no better than the one I already have. So barrels do not disappear when you push them into a barrier, they just look like they do. Or something. Maybe. Whatever. Anything in here? No. I do want to come back and see if I can s
Where was I? I do want to come back and see if I can sanctify that altar in the basement. But first, a nap. Ah, cool. Dungeon has been abandoned. That means no more enemies should spawn in here. I said no more enemies should spawn in here. Unless that dungeon abandoned only refers to the main floor. Poison to cure. There we go. What? You were not here a minute ago. Sanctify. You chant loud and hard, trying to drive the evil magic out of the stone before you. The incantation succeeds. The energy of the altar was powerful, but fragile. The humming dies down and fades away, and the snakes around you stop seeming so flustered. You finally are able to relax a little bit. Woohoo! You are satisfied to see that the snakes have stopped being so interested in the altar. It is now little more than a somewhat morbidly carved chunk of rock. Oh, and Brehan has gotten out. Good for him. I hope. Now it is time for us to GTFO. That's right, Garnet. It's time to go back to the tower and mark this quest as done. Oh, hey, that passage is still there. Neat. Entering from the side of the tower does nothing. that mission for you. Killed the cultists. Kellner nods happily and begins writing a letter. I am now writing the castle to tell them of your bold deed. You should go there soon and see if you are now qualified for a higher rank. Thank you for your bold deed. Uh-huh. Well, that is certainly a reward. Well, next episode, I will uh, let you know if I got any... Exciting goodies. And we will move on to the castle.
or Silvar, or maybe the next dungeon. One of those. Have a good one, everybody.